All right. Oh my gosh. All up in your grill so you can see the real. Hey, hey. Okay. So because I'm really all up in your grill and um, I can't really do my dance, I'm going to roll the intro right here. Hey, everybody. CK here. And I'm coming to you with another video. You say it. Coming to you with another video. Pick it. Pick it. <laughs> All right. So I've received so many requests about how to put on false lashes. I even did a, um, a live IG video. Of course, it lasts only 24 hours. I didn't do the IGTV situation because like I haven't used that yet. Right. And so it's gone. And so I get a lot of questions about false eyelashes. So I'm going to tell you my top four right now that I absolutely love. And I'm also going to show you how to pop these babies on. And I'll show you the ones that I'm going to rock today. But I definitely want to let you guys know the ones that I'm loving, why I love them. And love them, I love them. Love them, I love them, I love them. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. These are my number one faves. These are the Coco Misha lashes, and I usually get them from Lady Moss Beauty. Now I'm looking at my monitor, so like no judging, okay? But they're um, Misha, and then you can see on the back it says Misha. Placal. And I get them from Lady Moss Beauty. They run about like $6.99, okay? And I love these lashes because they have a they have a clear band, number one, and then they are super, super de duper lightweight. And they're really, really easy to apply because they are lightweight. And I don't have to cut them. Now, usually when I rock lashes, I do have to cut them to fit my eyes. And you may want to do that too, all right? And so before I show you the other lashes, I am going to apply some mascara so that it can dry, all right? Now, I usually apply mascara to my lashes. First of all, I'm a part of the Itty Bitty Lash Committee. It acts as a shelf for the lashes to be applied on top. It makes them lay easier. And listen... This is not how YouTubers usually do it. I'm going to tell you because I've seen like countless tutorials on how to do lashes, y'all. And they do it with like tweezers and one hand and that's not how we get down. Okay. I do it how I learned it and I stick with it. You got to do what works for you, boo. Okay. Do you, boo. And so that's what I'm going to show you. <laughs> Bars. So the next ones are from iLux or is it VLux? I know it's from... um. Ruby Kisses, I believe, and they have a brand called I Envy. And yeah, I Envy V Lux Lashes. And these are called Kayla. And I don't just love them because they're called Kayla. Okay. But they're bomb. They are a little bit thicker on the band. Okay. So it is a little bit harder to place them on. But I absolutely love these. I do have to cut these a little bit. But when I cut lashes to fit my eyes, I typically cut it where it flares at the end because I don't want to disturb the way it um, the way the band is towards the inner corner all right because it goes smaller usually and so I cut at the end because I you know I can spare those right there you know what I mean I don't need the super flare so the next ones are Ardell professional double up lashes and they are 113 now these you can actually get at the drugstore and I love doubling up even my necklaces plug it out I do but they're double up which means that Instead of putting on two lashes, they kind of have done it for you, all right? So these have a pretty thin band as well. And I do have to cut these a little bit too because they flare out a little wide and it just goes longer than my eye. And so the next one I have is from a company called Noir Lashes, all right? Now this is a small business, but I love them nonetheless. And this is the style Diana. Dirty Diana. Um just kidding. But these I do have to cut at the end and these have a thicker band on them. So you do have to be careful when applying. When the band is thicker, it gives you a harder time when you apply them. When it's thinner, it goes on with more ease. All right. And the final ones that I'm going to show you today that I'm going to use because I just got them about a week ago, a week ago, or maybe two. And um, they're the bomb.com. They're from Stalazi. Let me show you the packaging. And I rocked them probably like five times already. And I rock all my lashes over and over and over again. Okay. So these are Stalazi and they are called Vegas Baby. Ay. And listen, when I first saw them at the makeup show LA, I was like, yo, that's a lot. That's a lot, lot. That's a lot, lot, lot. But I put them babies on. Listen, yeah, yeah. I love them. Love them. I love them. And so that's what we're going to use today. But they do have a thick band, so you do have to be careful doing your application. Well, first of all, I use Duo, okay? I use the dark tone because I like that it dries black, like a really deep dark gray, not like stone cold black, 
but a really deep dark gray. And I love that. I like it better than the white one that dries clear because the clear doesn't look clear at all. Okay. And it's just mm -mm. when I wear lashes, I like this one. Now I know on the packaging, I believe it says, yeah, it says apply a thin line of adhesive along the band and wait 30 seconds for it to set. I don't do that. Okay. I told you I do it my way. Okay. So I place a pea size amount on top of my makeup palette, which I'm not going to show you right now because yeah, I just did my brows, lashes and all that. And it's, it's full of product. So what I usually do is I take this eyelash applicator right here. I think I got it on eBay for all of like 49 cents. I'll try to find the link for you guys and, um, and put it in the description box as well. But I take my lash like so, and I take the lash applicator right here. And then I take my makeup spatula, which Listen, I don't know. I don't remember where I got this from because I go to all these shows, but I let that glue. I just let it sit there and get tacky on my makeup palette. A lot of times what happens with people when they're doing their lashes and they get frustrated with it is that they don't let the glue get tacky enough. Right. So then when they go to apply it on their lash, what happens is it moves all around because it's not fully dry and it's slippery. And so then it gets in your eye, it's moving, you're frustrated, you're like, I'm done. I'm only going to do like mascara, forget it, right? But don't give up. I got you. I got you, girl. Now, if you're doing a client's makeup or lashes, you never want to blow on the lash because that is totally unsanitary. Okay, Funkin? You probably don't need as much as I placed on the lash, but honey, I like all things secure and I like to put a little bit more on the tips because those are the places that lift the quickest. So here is what we do. I take this eyelash applicator and I point it upward just like this and I get ready to place it on top of my lash and then I go all the way into the lash line as close as possible. And after I do that, then I fix it with my hands I do, or my fingers. I do not use tweezers. I don't use this for the full application. I just, I don't know. That's not how I learn. So I don't do it just like that. And I push it in, right? And I release. And then you just place, go in there and place it right like so. And then take this part right here and place it with your fingers as well. And it's hard when I'm talking. And then I turn to the side like so to make sure that it is not sticking up. This is harder than I thought doing this on camera. So I know that people, they actually do the mascara after they apply their lashes, but I don't like to do that because it makes it harder for them to clean when I want to reuse them, right? When I take them off daily or whenever I rock them, all I do is I remove the glue from them, put them back in the case, and then they're ready for next time. But I noticed that when you use the mascara, it makes them very stiff and hard. If I'm paying six and seven dollars and ten dollars a pop on some lashes, we about to rock you till the wheels fall off. Drop a comment in the comment section to let me know if this video was helpful. And if there are any other videos you would like to see, let me know. But I'm going to be doing a video on some more foundation. So stay tuned. Make sure that you join the fam bam. Make sure that you click that notification button, okay? So that you don't miss my other videos, all right? So that you can get notified. So you don't miss a beat. I don't want you to have FOMO. Fear of missing out, okay? So you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. See, keep you me coughing, this is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see, keep beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key.